Now let's shift our focus to Africa, where a scandal has sent the Nigerian government scrambling. The scandal is over fake college degrees from foreign countries. They're apparently being home delivered like pizza. An investigative report came out last week. A Nigerian reporter got his hands on a degree from neighboring Benin. He received a four-year undergraduate degree after waiting for just six weeks. The report has caused an uproar in Nigeria and the government is now taking action. On Tuesday, it banned degrees from Benin and Togo. Yesterday, Nigeria announced it would ban degrees from Kenya, Uganda and Niger as well. And it's not likely to stop there. Here's our report. The Nigerian government is in damage control mode. A new report has put them on the back foot. The investigative journalism report has brought an insidious problem to light. The proliferation of fake foreign college degrees. The investigation was carried out between 2022 and 2023. A reporter bought a fake degree from the neighbouring nation of Benin. It was a four-year bachelor's degree from a university accredited by Nigeria. The reporter received it in just six weeks, without even having to go to Benin. The degree was home delivered. It gets worse. Nigeria has a one-year mandatory military youth programme. Almost every college graduate needs to take part in this. It's a requirement for government jobs and electoral offices, among other things. The reporter used this fake degree from Benin to enrol, and it worked. Despite the degree being fake, despite the reporter actually having done this youth program years ago, he still managed to enrol. This shows that the fake degrees are a viable, fast-track route to employment in Nigeria. And this led to outrage. Nigerians who've done it the right way, people who studied hard for four years to get their degrees, they were furious at this expose. They demanded accountability from their government. And Abuja swung into action. The report came out on the 30th of December. On the 2nd of January, it banned degrees from colleges in Benin and Togo. Both these West African nations are known as hubs for the fake degree trade. But the Nigerian government hasn't stopped there. It plans to widen its net. Colleges in neighbouring Niger will get banned too, and also colleges on the other side of the continent. Nigeria plans to revoke accreditation from universities in Kenya and Uganda as well. A recently released list shows a Ghanaian university on the blacklist. It's also blacklisted the Nigerian campuses of some British and American universities. The crackdown seems thorough, but will this actually fix things? Let's recap. Fake foreign degrees have been a problem for years. Some colleges in Benin and Togo are notorious for this, and they had been banned as recently as 2018. Back then, Cameroon and Ghana were targeted as well. Remember, the investigation took place just four years later in 2022. So clearly, banning did not work. The fake foreign degree scam was up and running again as soon as public attention waned. And there's one important thing to note here. The scam couldn't have returned without help from Nigerian officials, or at the very least, negligence. The colleges offering the fake degrees are accredited by Nigeria. So the investigative reporter's fake degree did pass Nigerian screening. Later, while applying for the mandatory youth service, he had to show proof of his stay in Benin. The degree racketeers got him fake travel documents and passport stamps. So, of course, Nigerian border officials are involved in the scam as well. It shows just how deep the rot goes. The current move to blacklist certain countries is short-sighted. It will hurt honest students. Nigeria needs to focus on finding the corrupt officials at home and plugging the leaks in its verification system and shut down the school for scandal once and for all.